I'm Leo from Leo and Hyde. We are a musical theatre company and over the lockdowns we've been exploring brand new ways to tell musical stories with digital technology. We've been exploring VR, we've been exploring machine learning and for this commission for Lancashire Encounter Festival uh, we've been exploring motion capture. We've been bringing a painting to life from the Harris Museum in Preston. What we're hoping to do from now is to use motion capture in a lot of new ways and new stories, whether that's bringing artworks to life in museums or telling whole stories with motion capture fantasy characters. And we'd love to work with any organisations interested in finding new audiences through this new technology and merging the digital and film and theatre. about this piece is that we use motion capture to bring direct to life and as a performer it brings new possibilities to be able to tell the stories of paintings and other characters through virtual space. Hi, so I'm Ryan Gary, I'm from Unlimited Motion and I do a lot of motion capture and today I'm doing live performance capture and what performance capture is, is generally just the body. Performance capture is the entire performance including face, fingers, body, everything and what I'm doing today is capturing the entire performance in real time, streaming it through to a real engine onto a metahuman, like a pre-created avatar so that the performer, the dancer, singing performance is remapped onto that character so we can see in real time her performing as well as the digital character performing those same movements. This is the first time for me as a theatre director working with motion capture and I think it's really exciting. For me what I've discovered as well as it being very complicated and precise and kind of takes up more time than I thought as we do it, what is incredible is it creates hundreds of possibilities of things that we can't ordinarily do in theatre, like doing close-ups, really close-ups on people's faces, changing angles, changing the virtual set kind of at an instant. Um, and all of that, I'm really excited by what we've created today, but also the future of what this means. Um, for theatre and also for musical theatre, being able to sync the lips up and the lyrics and the song with from the performer to the kind of puppet. Uh, is also really exciting. It was, yeah, it was amazing. It was just an amazing concept. I like, can't wait to go see the painting now. I was like hoping that it would be here and then I asked um, my friend and she said that, uh, yeah, it was. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very clever and I thought the idea of bringing Mona Lisa and linking it to Direct, I've not seen Direct, but I would go and see it now. And linking it all together and using the avatar was very, very clever, yeah. That type of music being associated with this kind of technology it's really exciting and it reminds you that the technology is an, the technology is a vehicle for whatever, art, art, whatever type you want to use. It was just so unique, not seen one like that and we go to lots of exhibitions, we go to the Venice Biennale every other year for the arts but no, I was impressed with that. <laughs> 